Andrew Ference went on Elliot Friedman's 31 Thoughts podcast this week. And he had some interesting insight and revelations from inside the Oilers dressing room from the time he played. Some illuminating things coming out of that, that podcast. Yeah, I kind of dropped an atomic bomb. So Ferrets was asked, what's wrong in Edmonton? Why can't you get it going there? Of course, they actually are going right now. Yeah. But he was asked what's wrong. And so he went back to 2013-15 uh, when he was on the team with Dallas. Akins is the coach, and he identified a couple things. And the, the, the takeaway, the thing that we're all going to remember, I think, is he kind of, he didn't name names, but I think he, it's generally accepted he was referring to Tater Hall and Jordan Eberle. And he talked about, and maybe some other younger players on the team, that incredibly talented young group of players. Um, Neil Yakupov was on that team, Justin Schultz, Nugent Hopkins, and Tater Hall was a dominant personality. He was the, the young guy, the, the, the stud hockey player. And so what Ferentz talked about was the partying. So lack of professionalism. It sounds like they, they missed the, like that whole party hard, work hard thing. They missed the work hard part of it, Craig, in practice. And Ferentz uh, said they were going on a western road swing and the guys are out every night till 5 a.m. And three games, they would, they would talk a good game about tired of losing, want to do better, but three games into the season, they're out partying. Coming from Boston, a Stanley Cup team, highly disciplined, an older team, lots of veterans. Ferentz sounded frankly disgusted with what was going on at Edmonton. The thing that got me the most as an owner fan that just it, it hurt my head and broke my heart all at the same time was Ferentz's uh, comment about practice. How players like him and other players would come from winning teams, veteran players, and they would work hard in practice. And there was like a, some kind of derogatory term, probably something along the line of coach's pet or teacher's pet, probably stated in much more crude terms than that, um, for players who worked hard in practice. And essentially players were too cool, too cool for school, but too dumb for the real world. <laughs> he didn't say that, I'm saying that. How can that happen? You have this one chance at, at, at to, be, to come together as a team, to be a great NHL team, and everyone knows the recipe for it is working hard. And we all know from watching those teams, from watching those Oilers teams at that time, there was something wrong with those teams. They didn't stand up for each other. They didn't work hard for each other. They didn't, um, when someone was getting bullied by another player on another team, they didn't come to each other's rescue. There was a lack of spirit on those teams. And I think that Ferentz has really opened, a, a, a shone some light on, on why that was. These players were too young. and. Now, we all know that Taylor Hall has completely turned it around. He was an MVP last year. He's become the player he could always be. But it clearly took the trade from Edmonton to New Jersey. A tough year in New Jersey where his team did poorly. The owners did really well. Um, some talking with New Jersey management, and Taylor Hall turned his career around. But, it, it, you know, he just wasn't ready to be that player yet. You know, I guess we can all relate to that, where maybe we've wasted a little potential in life and... Uh, no, so being, you. being young once. <laughs> yes. Anyway, good for Taylor Hall, but we also know, I think we have a little bit more understanding of maybe why that trade was made and why Jordan Everly was made. And those are big sticks used to beat Peter Shirelli on the head on a daily basis. I think we have a little bit more understanding than we did a few days ago about maybe why Shirelli uh, made some of the moves that he did.